Welcome to the assay show. This video will show you how to perform an apoptosis assay on the Soligo image cytometer using Caspase 3.7 and Hooks reagents. Let me first take a moment and describe the assay principle. DEVD is a Caspase 3.7 specific sequence that is coupled with a DNA dye molecule. This substrate can freely diffuse across the cell membrane in live cells. Once inside apoptotic cells, the caspase 3-7 protein recognizes and cleaves the DEVD sequence and releases the DNA probe. When the probe enters the nucleus, it binds to the DNA, producing a bright green fluorescent signal. Hooks dye was added as a nuclear counterstain for the detection of total nucleated cells. After staining, the Soligo was used to acquire whole well, bright field, caspase 3-7 green, and Hooks blue images. The Soligo software automatically analyzes the captured images and reports the total number of green caspase positive cells, the total number of blue, hooks positive, nucleated cells, and the percent of apoptotic cells. The captured bright field images were not analyzed and were used to monitor cell morphology. Today I'll show you an apoptosis assay that was performed using an adherent breast cancer cell line MDA-MB231 that was treated with 3 micromolar storosporine. To achieve the best accuracy of your cell plating, measure the cell concentration and viability using a cellometer automated cell counter. Mix 20 microliters of cell sample and 20 microliters of tripan blue. Load 20 microliters of stained sample into the cellometer counting chamber slide and perform a cell count to acquire cell number, concentration, and viability. Based on the measured concentration of your cells per well, plate 10,000 cells in a volume of 200 microliters and allow the cells to incubate overnight. The next day, add 3 micromolar storosporine to induce apoptosis and allow the cells to incubate for the next 8 hours. After the incubation, remove 100 microliters from each well and add 100 microliters of 2 times concentrated caspase 37 and hook staining solution to each well. Allow the plate to incubate at 37 degrees for 30 minutes. Because the Soligo can image and analyze adherent cells, trypsinization is not required. Whole well imaging of 24 wells was captured in 3.5 minutes. The analyzed results are displayed in a plate-based format showing a thumbnail picture and percent of apoptotic cells for each analyzed well. Let's take a closer look at a treated sample in well D3. By double-clicking on the well, the whole well image appears for review. We can zoom in to look at the cell morphology in the bright field image, examine the staining and counting of caspase and hooks positive cells. In this merged image, the blue outlines represent the hooks positive total cells and the red outlines represent the caspase 3-7 positive cells. Soligo built-in gating interface provides the necessary tools for plotting and analyzing 2D scatter plots. Optimized settings are then automatically applied to the entire plate for easy data analysis. All the data can be exported to Excel as a CSV file in plate-based layout. Each Excel file contains the number of caspase 37 and hooks positive cells as well as percent of apoptosis. Generated bar graphs show an increased number of caspase 37 positive cells and percent apoptosis in the storosporine treated samples. These and other assays are routinely performed on the Soligo. To learn more or schedule a free in-lab demonstration, call us or visit nexalom.com.